What you'll note is this is all through a user interface. There is no coding knowledge required. You don't have to learn HTML or CSS or anything else. It's really user friendly to add in some text, add an image and a whole range of other content types as well. So I won't go through them all in detail, but lots of jobs information. Calls to action will come back to really powerful capability that you can tailor to different pages on the site, video content hosting, blog content, etc. If you did want to use code at some point, you can. The example I give here that's really easy to do is grab your Twitter feed, grab the embed code of that Twitter feed and paste it in and we can present that Twitter feed. I've actually done it, I won't do it today, but I've done it live in a demo before. It takes like less than 30 seconds to do and you can have your Twitter feed embedded in your careers site. We had a client in the retail industry who's looking to build an event page like this and typically it would take them about seven weeks to turn something like this around and you can see that call to action that I had up earlier live in the page. It would take them seven weeks and thousands of dollars with an external agency to do this they told us it took them seven minutes to achieve the same outcome. And so that's the proof point of how easy it is to make some of these changes. So importantly, I would note at this point, Laurie, I'm showing a lot of capability today. This system is designed to be as simple or as complex as you need it to be. And it's about starting somewhere and then evolving your strategy over time. But this is about giving people really easy to understand insights around what's working and what isn't. So here I've got a funnel of people visiting the site right through to those who get hired. And as an example, really high level, we're looking at proximate diversity balance throughout that funnel. And here we might know that, well, people are visiting the site, but we're seeing this huge drop off in conversion ratios based on diversity metrics. We can start to drive an intervention around that or look at our branding messages specifically to address that particular gap. So sits on the front of any ATS to get that return on investment and insight up the front end. So if we take a couple of other examples where often we're typically spending a lot of time and money, things like video content, we might be developing some new videos for our careers side or for a particular talent segment with certain brand messages that we know resonate with those audiences. But we can understand based on past videos that we've created, have they actually delivered a result? Have they converted people through to hire? So of people who viewed a video, how many of them actually ended up applying and how many ended up being hired with the organization? And then we can change our strategy or invest in this strategy moving forward. 